Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. In this video series, we are discussing about Salesforce Lightning Flows. Today, we are going to see how we can delete a record using Salesforce Flows. Okay. So we have a problem statement. We need to delete a case record when status of when status of case is updated to closed. Okay. So we'll go to our Salesforce org. and we'll create a flows okay so go to setup search for flows click on new flow so that will be redirected to flow builder and we'll select auto launch flow okay and we'll click on free form now uh, so to delete a record we need to have at least id of a record right so for that we'll be creating a new variable so we'll create a new resource type would be variable and this would be record id of case okay and data type would be text and we'll make it as available for input okay now next in the elements we'll select delete record data element so we'll drag it over here we'll say delete case record and how to find the record to delete so either we can use the id stored in record variable or record collection variable or we can specify conditions now we have id as a text value so we'll specify conditions and for object we will select case object okay and for filter case record we'll specify the id of case record right so we'll search for id and we'll select case id over here and equals to it will be record id okay and we'll click on done now we'll link this to delete record and we'll click on save okay we'll label it as delete closed case records okay We'll save this and we will activate our flow okay next uh, to pass the account or oh, sorry to pass the case ID to this flow we need to have something right so we'll create a process builder and that process builder will check which field is updated so if it is the status of a field and if it is updated to closed then we will pass that particular case ID into this flow okay so we'll go to setup we'll check for process builders we'll create a new process builder we'll specify send case id to flow and we'll select when a record changes okay now for object we will select case as an object we'll select when a record is created or edited so at that time process will start and we'll save this okay now next we need to add, add criteria so criteria would be closed cases conditions are met and here we'll check for status field of a case okay so status is changed equal to true and we'll specify status equals to field reference and we'll sorry so here instead of field reference it should be pick list and we should make it as closed value okay so this is our 
criteria we'll save this now we'll specify the action so in action we'll select flows and action name would be delete case record and for flow we will select delete closed case record flow okay now we need to pass uh, variables to that flow so what variables we need to pass we need to pass the case id into the record id variable of flow okay so here it should be field reference and here it should be case id now we'll save this and activate our process builder okay so our process builder is activated we'll go to case record let's say we'll go to this case record okay we'll open this case record we'll copy this case id and specify it over here so that later we can check whether this case record with this id exists or not now what we need to do is we need to edit this case and we need to change the status of this case to closed uh, so okay so we cannot find the closed picklist value over here why so this is new york right so for this we need to check the support setting of case so i'll first go to setup and we need to check the support settings here for case so support settings here we need to check for one checkbox is there show closed yeah show closed status in case status field okay so we need to edit this and make it available for us so we'll select this checkbox and click on save now i'll refresh this case Now we'll click on edit and see we can see the close status right so if I select close status now and if I click on save so cases will be updated and yes you can see the record was deleted okay so why because we changed the status of case to closed and we have a process builder and flow builder which are working correctly now okay so this is how you can delete record using flows in Salesforce okay so thank you for watching this video uh, do not forget to subscribe this channel